Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Git Good at Open Rollercoaster Tycoon 2. In this episode I will show you how to make a Beyond Vertical Drop. Now you will typically see this element on uh, Eurofighters, but there are several other rides which also had a Beyond Vertical Drop. Um, they can be quite tricky to make, but uh, with this tutorial you should be able to do it uh, yourself. Now typically uh, the coasters which have a Beyond Vertical Drop um, yeah, typically they are Eurofighters or Infinity Coasters and they typically use the Giga Coaster track. And the Giga Coaster itself cannot do the the for, cannot do vertical track pieces though. So um, what I will do here is I will use the allow arbitrary ride type changes cheat and for the vertical part I will change it into a vertical drop roller coaster. Uh, something else we'll want to do is uh, use the allow chain lifts on all track pieces cheat um, and that will allow us to make a, a chain lift on a vertical piece of track so um, here we just go upwards uh, while we go upwards here vertically um, the chain lift automatically deselects so you'll have to click it again and then uh, now you can just continue building it now you will need quite some height to do a uh, Beyond vertical drop. Um, well, yeah, 36 meters. That's probably a bit, uh, well, probably a bit higher than we uh, strictly need to go. All right. Um, this is the the easy part. Um, of course, we can also here just go downwards like we used to. You you can even put a holding brake here if you'd like. And then you simply go uh, down like this, and you make one uh, straight uh, piece of track downwards. Now, um, in order to do the beyond vertical drop, well, obviously we cannot do this normally. There's no way here to select a piece to build uh, back backwards. Um, so what we'll do here is uh, I will simply. Uh, rotate twice so we are rotated 180 degrees and then we have a backwards uh, track piece now i will ro um, uh, delete the rotated pieces and now from this piece here at the bottom that's rotated 180 degrees we will build upwards right here we cannot build uh, upwards anymore so here i will disable clearance checks and now i built a track piece here now these two vertical track pieces are on the same tile, so the track will merge here. Now we can delete these uh, pieces here, because we no longer need them. And now from this uh, vertical track piece that we built here, um, we can build forwards like this. And um, well, depending on how much you want it to go backwards, you could uh, extend it by one, but for <laughs> for a uh, one of this size, um, you'll probably want it to be a little bit higher. So uh, for here, I will just uh, I will just build inwards by one, and here we will go vertical again. And here we build a straight uh, track piece, straight vertical track piece again. All right, now uh, we make two rotated track pieces again. And here we'll build uh, another uh, another straight uh, vertical track piece. Okay, we uh, remove the rotated pieces, and from this piece we build upwards again. So yeah, basically it's the same method as we used here. Now we can delete these track pieces as we no longer need them, and here we can go uh, to steep again. Well, um, here you'll probably want to have a smooth, um, yes, a smooth track uh, back to horizontal again. The vertical drop roller coaster cannot do that. Um, really, the only reason we needed the vertical drop roller coaster here was for these uh, steep pieces here on the top, and also here at the bottom. Um, so what the uh, what I think the best thing to do here is uh, to change back to the twister roller coaster. And then when we go with horizontal, you get this really smooth, uh, yeah, this smooth transition. 
And this is probably what looks best uh, here at the bottom of the vertical, uh, beyond the vertical drop. Like that. Um, oh, we are on the, on the ground here. By the way, you can use the hotkey, hotkeys uh, H to remove horizontal uh, uh, land or to remove land pieces. You can use uh, V to uh, hide the vertical uh, land edges. Uh, it could be a useful uh, hotkey for you to use. Um, well, of course, here we're now on ground level. Usually I would lower the ground. Uh, I'd probably just uh, lo lower the landscape here uh, overall a bit. Uh, and then continue building just because I would like, I want to have supports under all my track. It's just uh, how I prefer my rides to, to be. Now in here, after your uh, beyond vertical drop, you could uh, just uh, continue your track. Um, I will now just quickly build a station and uh, I will just make a really simple layout uh, and just finish the track. Alright, now one uh, downside of this method that I used is that you cannot use uh, you cannot use the you cannot use block breaks because it will say the track is not a complete circuit uh, because of this uh, merge that we did here. Uh, there's probably some ways around this. You can probably make a dummy track um, which uh, which will be ignored because of the merge merging. But uh, what I usually just do is just use a different operating mode. Um, you could use continuous circuit mode. Uh, actually, you cannot. Uh, um, you can use. Uh, um, oh yeah, you need to uh, use the show all operating modes cheat. I uh, <laughs> I just clicked the wrong one. But you need to use the show all operating modes cheat. And then you can select uh, more operating modes than you would normally be able to do. Uh, both higher mode, it's a popular mode. Uh, you can use um, if your track's not a complete circuit. Or you could use the powered launch uh, without passing station. Uh, so yeah, for this example, we will just use the boat hire mode. All right, and that should allow us to uh, to simply run our trains. Um, we will use the floorless twisted trains um, because we're making a Eurofighter here. We'll disable vehicle limits and we will make this a two-car train. And I think I'll just uh, run two cars on this track because it's uh, really short. Um, well, first thing we need to do in order to make this uh, beyond vertical drop work is make sure that the merges are done correctly. So for that we go into the tile inspector and now I hold control and uh, click this track piece. Um, so yeah, we have selected this track piece now, this vertical one. Um, in order to make the car go to the correct track, um, well, it needs to go from this track to this track piece here in the middle. So in order to do that, uh, we have to select this track piece, so the one it needs to go to. Um, you can see two track pieces here at the same height, at the height 50. Um, the track piece where it has to go to has to be on the bottom. So of these two track pieces at height 50, um, this one is actually on the top. So uh, we select the track piece and we use this arrow to move it down. So now it's below the other one. And just to uh, make sure that you have selected the correct one, um, you can always just select the track piece and just move it up and down a little bit. And that will allow you to tell uh, easily which track piece you have selected. So this one's on the bottom now, this one is the one it will go to. And here we have another merge and here we'll have to do the same. So I'll select this track piece here uh, where it has to go to. Um, we see two track pieces here both at height uh, 32. Um, the one we just selected uh, you can see it's, it's uh, the one on top. So we use this arrow to move it down. Now it's the 
lower one here so that's the one it will go to and just to make sure uh, it's the right one uh, well, yeah, we can just select the lower one and just move it up and down uh, a bit and when I do that a few times you can clearly see we have uh, selected the correct uh, track piece and it's in the it's in the correct order all right so now we can uh, test out our track um, let's give it a nice color as well yeah I kind of like this all right here you can see it. Uh, well, I made this little holding break here. It's not really necessary, but you can see it go down uh, the track here. Uh, it will look a little bit weird here if you keep the track like this. The car, uh, yeah, it uh, won't actually go beyond vertical, but it will actually drive on the back side of the track. If uh, if it goes fast enough, uh, then it's uh, sometimes hardly noticeable. But here um, you can you can actually see it quite clear, clearly if you pay attention. But yeah, that's just uh, the downside of this uh, method to uh, to make a beyond vertical drop. Now, um, of course, the Giga Coaster is what's usually used for a Eurofighter. Uh, it uh, doesn't have sprites for a vertical track. So, um, yeah, you can see I now changed the coaster to Giga Coaster Track. Um, so, what you'll want to do here is actually uh, just fill out the invisible parts uh, with uh, other track pieces. So, the Giga Coaster Track is invisible now. Um, you can use several kinds of track for, the, for this uh, part. Obviously, for these uh, steep... Uh, to horizontal pieces of the vertical drop roller coaster, you can only use the vertical drop roller coaster track. Uh, so let's uh, just fill uh, fill this out with uh, vertical drop roller coaster track. Actually, let's start with uh, twisted track. So I'm going to build this in the reverse direction. Uh, that will uh, prevent any accidental merging. Okay, so here we built uh, upwards. Okay, um, well, yeah, we can't actually build uh, our track upwards here uh, because here's the beyond vertical part. What I will do now is uh, I will copy this uh, track piece that we just made. The horizontal one now just to make it easier to see where we want to place it uh, I'll change the track back to vertical drop roller coaster I just copied that uh, one horizontal track piece that we put here um, I will paste it here and then I will build it upwards like this and this will just allow us to continue building the yellow track from here so now we will change the blue one back to Gig Coaster, so this track becomes invisible again. Alright, and now we can just continue building from this uh, yellow track piece. Now, I want to have the, horizont the very short horizontal to steep piece here, so I will use the vertical drop roller coaster track. Oops, I changed the wrong uh, coaster. Uh, no, I need to select this yellow coaster and we'll change this one to the vertical drop roller coaster and now you can see I can build the horizontal to steep piece again. So we can just build this track in the reverse direction to fill out this uh, invisible part. Now, if you don't use the uh, these uh, horizontal to steep pieces you can also use other tracks that go vertical for example the limb launch roller coaster track uh, or uh, yeah could even be some others okay and here um, we can build this track like this all right uh, 
well, yeah, we could build this this part also with uh, the B and M track. Uh, I actually like to use other tracks here, like the limb launch roller coaster, or the inverted impulse coaster. Also works uh, quite well usually because it looks a lot like the giga coaster track. For this example, uh, let's use the limb launch roller coaster track. Now here it's probably also best to build in the reverse direction. So um, I will just start building a track here. Let's hope I don't actually accidentally merge them. Actually, it probably doesn't matter that much if I do. Alright, and here we've filled out the track. It might look a little bit janky, but uh, I think it does the job. Let's give it also give it the blue color. Alright, there we have our uh, Beyond Vertical Drop. Now, um, you probably want to hide some supports here, so you can simply uh, hold control click the support and then uh, simply place it below surface that will hide the support for you. And for this tower, um, you'll probably also want to use uh, make a tower to decorate it. Um, I like to use a launched uh, freefall tower here. You can simply uh, remove these track pieces uh, or uh, even better, you can also just hide them with uh, corrupt elements. The good thing about hiding them is that uh, you could reuse them for uh, to make a queue later. For example, you could make a queue path and then uh, let's take this track piece uh, here. You could make a queue path and then just make the path invisible and then just overlay these uh, these station tiles. And then you can make a really cool uh, queue area. But yeah, uh, that's, uh, that's up to you. Now I made this little tower here in the middle. Uh, let's give it the same green color as the track. And I think that uh, that actually looks quite cool. You could even make some uh, cross beams uh, in the middle here. There's also several uh, track types you could use for that. For now I'll just use the inverted impulse coaster. Like that. Let's make it uh, green as well. Or we could make it blue. Oh yeah, and uh, I think it looks nice if you place uh, several of these. You can simply uh, copy and paste them. But yeah, how you decorate it really it's up to you. The possibilities uh, are endless. Uh, you could experiment with uh, ch changing these uh, tracks into different types. Um, yeah, it's all uh, up to you how you uh, how you decorate it. This is what it looks like with Twister roller coaster track, uh, inverted impulse coaster. Uh, well, I guess this also works. It may look a little bit uh, strange, and this support is now clipping through it, but. Uh, yeah, you should just uh, try it out and see uh, what works uh, best for you. Alright, I hope this uh, episode is uh, useful for you. And I will see you again in the next episode. See you later.